Thank you, Mr. Speaker and colleagues. It's uh, with great honor that I come before you to uh, ask that the California State Legislature recognize Tom the Iceman Flores, who was the first Latino quarterback of uh, Mexican descent, the first Latino head coach, and the first Latino team president to ever head a professional football team, and yes, a California native, and I'll elaborate a bit more to be more specific on where he was from. He was born in 1937 in the San Joaquin Valley to farm worker parents who were originally from Chihuahua, Mexico. During his college career, the Iceman was ranked in the top 10 of passers in 1956 and 1957. In 1960, Tom signed with the AFL's Oakland Raiders, breaking barriers for the first Latino, becoming the first Latino quarterback in professional football. Tom was named a AFL star in 1966 and went on to win a Super Bowl with the Kansas City Chiefs in 1970. Retiring after this season, his fifth leading, he became the fifth leading passer in AFL history. In 1972, he became the assistant coach of the Oakland Raiders and was instrumental to taking them to a winning Super Bowl in 1977. The Iceman was selected to be the head coach of the Raiders in 1979, breaking another barrier, becoming not just the first Latino head coach, but also the first minority head coach in pro football, period. As head coach, Tom Flores led the Raiders to a Super Bowl victory in 1981. Tom remained with the team after they relocated to Los Angeles in 1982 and won another Super Bowl in 1984. Let the record show that Tom Flores has won more championships for the Raiders than any other legend out there, including John Madden, a little trivia that folks don't know about. In 1988, Tom Flores was named president and GM of the Seahawks, again being the first Latino of Mexican descent to hold this position. Tom is one of only two people in the NFL history to win a Super Bowl as a player, assistant coach, and head coach. The other little trivia again was Mike Ditka. The Iceman currently resides in the beautiful Coachella Valley and remains an active member of the Raiders community despite his legendary career as a player coach in the front office and most recently as a play-by-play -play commentator Tom is one of only four coaches to win multiple Super Bowls who is not already in the Hall of Fame. Community Supports Flores has been growing throughout the state for the purpose of ensuring that this year he is inducted into the Hall of Fame. Several city councils have recently weighed in in support of Mr. Flores' induction by approving resolutions including Los Angeles, Fresno, Huron, and including Mr. Flores' hometown, Sanger, California. Tom Flores is a living NFL legend and a true inspiration for many Latino of Mexican descent youth and families across our nation. Flores epitomizes the greatness of what we can achieve in this country and in the beautiful state of California, again, chasing what is we call the California dream. There is no reason why, after a lifetime of outstanding accomplishments in the NFL, that he shouldn't finally be inducted this year. With this resolution, we want to let the world know that Tom Flores has support from his state leaders. Today, I respectfully ask for your I vote of this resolution to urge the Hall of Fame committee to rectify this oversight by paying homage to the legacy of this trailblazer, to not just the Latino community, but all minorities, and induct him into the Hall of Fame. Colleagues, I ask for your support of HR 13.